And I'm going to talk today about my son Benjamin. This little guy on the book is now 17 years old. He's 6'2. He's applying to college uh, in the fall. And he went to the CIP program last summer. So I'm going to talk about how we got him to CIP and then what CIP did for him. Because I think that one thing that we haven't addressed, I know for myself, that when the counselor at the school first suggested that we consider an away program for him, um, some kind of sleep away, independent, skill building program, I was terrified. And so I'm sure that a lot of you are hearing this, well, this is great, but how am I going to get to the point of actually being able to relinquish my child to a foreign environment, put him in this environment? When he was in 10th grade, we first met, I think it was you, Travis, um, or we met Mike and Matt at a presentation at him. And we were sure he's ready for this. He really is. It was terrifying. I mean, putting him, set, driving him up there, leaving him for two and a half weeks, absolutely terrifying. But before he actually went, he applied for a scholarship that CIP offers, and it's a video scholarship competition. And he wrote his own song to the Jackson Flies ABC. He made it CIP. <laughs> and he played it on the guitar, and he filmed himself doing it. Now this is a perfect example of how if I had stamped out those early interests, if I had taken those experts' um, dire warnings that if I allowed him to tap and sing and recite, he would end up never being able to integrate, right? He used those skills, he wrote his own lyrics, and in the process of writing the lyrics, thinking about what CLP would mean to him, right? He talks about, I wish we could show it. I'll put it on my Facebook page tonight so you guys can see it on my author page. Um, all about how independence was going to be developed and all of these skills. And so in the process of writing the song and submitting it for the competition, he said, I was going to sing with him. He had never sung before alone in any context where anybody else was going to watch him. And he said to me, Mom, I'm sounding pretty good. I think I can do this on my own. And he filmed him doing it completely on his own. And so the very process of applying helped him to gain independence. And again, building on those early strengths, talents, abilities, um, believing in them. He won an honorable mention, I believe. His friend Dave actually won. But he won an honorable mention. He went to CIP. About three days in, I get an email from one of the counselors. And she has a video. And he's riding on the van, coming back from some wonderful outing that they took with them. And the entire group of kids singing that Jim CIP song. <laughs> Killed me. Um, then at the closing ceremony, Ben actually didn't bring his guitar because he said, I don't want to bring my guitar because then I would be isolated off of my guitar. I want to be socializing. I want my social time. But someone had a guitar, they loaned him their guitar, and so he played it on the guitar and all the kids stood around him and that was their concluding moment and then they all hugged and there's a video of this. After doing the CIP program, within a couple of weeks, Benjamin participated in his first mainstream camp, it was a music camp. Um, he did it beautifully, uh, and I remember on the last day somebody said to me, I said, oh, you know he's on the spectrum. He said, really? I, I would never have guessed that. And I said, oh, absolutely, yes, yes. And, um, and he said, well, if that's some Asperger's, give me a taste of that. This counselor said, um, he began taking the subway in New York City by himself. Now, there's no direct correlation. They didn't train him to take the subway at CIP. But something about that experience gave him confidence, gave him a sense that he could do this. And he now travels all around the city by himself, completely independent. 